Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. The most popular Chinese New Year game, without a doubt, is Mahjong. With Chinese New Year just round the corner, I'm going to bring you another video on Mahjong tips, focusing on endgame offensive strategy. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell so that you don't miss any of my new videos. Okay, let's get started. One of the moments that gets us most excited or anxious in Mahjong will be when we are waiting for the final Tao to win the game, also known as Ting Pai. We can't always choose what kind of hand to end up with at this late stage. However, we can always try to strategize and plan ahead in advance to maximize the chance of being in the best Ting Pai position to win the game. Now, let's move on and talk about what are the worst and best kind of ready hand to have. Starting from the worst hand from a probability standpoint, this will obviously be in situations where we are waiting for just one tau. The first example here is when we have two numbers at the terminal end of a number sequence like a yi tong and er tong. We can only wait for a san tong to win the game. Assuming that no san tong has been discarded or appeared during the game, this means that only 4 tiles will win you the game. With a maximum of 144 tiles in the game, waiting for these 4 tiles is definitely a low probability and allow your opponent to beat you to winning the game. The second example here is when we are waiting for a single number in between two numbers of three tau number sequence, like a yi tong and san tong. We can only wait for a er tong in this case to win the game. Based on the same assumption that no er tong is in the discard pile or has appeared during the game, this means that only four tiles will win you the game. Now, we move to another situation when you have two pairs or commonly known as the eyes. While it may seem that you have a better chance here as you can now draw any of two types of tiles to win the game instead of just one type, things are not that simple. In this example, since you already have two e tong and two jiu tong, there will only be two Yi Tong and Du Jiu Tong left in the game to be drawn. This means that there are still only 4 tiles in the game that will help you to win the game. From a probability standpoint, this hand therefore seems to be equally good or bad as the previous scenarios shown when waiting for a single type of Tao. However, there are additional factors that may make this hand better or worse. For example, if the tiles that you are waiting for are terminal numbers, a non-favorable wind tile, or any other types of tiles that the opponents will likely to discard, then your odds of seeing and grabbing those tiles to win the game will be higher. For example, if the prevailing wind is east and your seed wind is south, it is unlikely that your opponent will want to keep a south wind tile and any other tile that are not theirs. Hence, if these are the tiles that you are waiting to win the game, you may stand a better chance of grabbing them as your opponent will more likely discard them than keeping them. Now, we move to a better hand that allows us to be in a better position to Ting Pai and win the game. In this example shown, we have a Er Tong and San Tong. We can therefore win the game if we get either a Yi Tong or Si Tong. This means that there are eight possible tiles for us to draw from, which is a far higher possibility compared to the previous few situations shown. An even better position to Ting Pai will be trying to end the game from a long five sequence number combination. In this example shown, getting a Yi Tong, Si Tong or Qi Tong will let us win the game. This is because we can break or rearrange the five number sequence in three different manner as shown. This is actually a relatively common ready hand that people try to end up with when waiting for the last tile because players will often discard the least helpful tile and prefer to form longer number sequences instead as it allows for more creative way to rearrange the sets and win in the late game. In this situation, there are 11 tiles we can draw that will win us the game. Since there is already one si tong in our hand, there will only be 3 more left to draw from. Assuming that no yi tong or si tong are in the discard pile or in your hand, there will be 4 of each of them to draw from. I hope you find this video useful. If you like this video, remember to click the like button. Thank you for watching. Bye.